Welcome, in this video I will be talking about units, conversions, and measurements. The metric system is used in all science courses. We follow certain units. For length, we talk about meters, which is in the symbol of M, mass, kilograms, kg, time, seconds, and S, and speed, which is in meters per second. We have large values and small values, so we develop scientific notation to write large numbers in a base 10 model. For example, you can write the number 1000 meters or you can write one kilometer because the kilo stands for 10 to the power three. Likewise, let's say you had one 1000 meters that is equivalent to one meter. This allows us to write large numbers in small values, but also we can use it to convert. We have to understand something called a conversion rate. The best way to think about a conversion rate is this multiple divided by a fraction number is how much the base units are in one unit within that prefix. For example, there are 1000 meters in a kilometer because there's one kilometer. Likewise, there is 0.001 grams in one milligram. Again, the multiple divide fraction is the numbers of how many of that base unit is in one of that prefix. It's gonna make more sense once we go over an example. In the notes that I just talked about, about the one of the prefix i followed this rule for the conversion the prefix always gets the one why because it says it right here it tells me how many of the base units there are in one unit with that prefix so follow the rule for the rule of conversion the prefix always gets the one the two most common conversions that you're going to do in this cast is getting something from centimeters to meters or vice versa so the first problem asks, how many meters is there in 25 centimeters? So we are going to do that as the first example. You want to start with what you're given. So this is your given, and this is what you want. So this is what you're gonna start with, and this is what you're going to end with. So first of all, write what you are start with. We start here with 25 centimeters okay we are going to multiply this by the conversion rate okay should centimeters be down here or up here okay it should be down here because once we multiply the units can cancel that is why the centimeter should be on bottom on top which is the meters because we have a conversion between centimeters and meters this is what I refer to as the conversion rate. So how many meters and how many centimeters? Remember, we just said it. the prefix gets the one. So this has the prefix, so we put a one here. How, so one centimeter, so centi is what? 10 to the negative three. 10 to the negative 2, so you can write it right here. 10 to the negative 2. Just follow this rule. Put the centimeter, right, that has a prefix of 1, and this is um, the conversion rate. Now let's see, if, does this get us what we want? Yep, centimeters cancels out with centimeters. We left with meters. Now you want to type this into your calculator. I'm going to pull up decimals to show you. Here I have decimals. Now I'm going to type this in. 25 multiply 10 and the negative 2 is in the exponent so we have to put the carrot yep and it is to the negative 2 power so there you go so the answer is 0 0.25 so we can write the answer here as 0 0.25 meters. That is how many meters is in 
25 centimeter. Now we can do it for how many grams is in this kilogram. So we start with what we're given, 0 0.015 kg. And we want to go to G in this case. So we want G and we have kg. So this is going to be our conversion rate. How many kilograms is in a gram? Or how many grams are in a kilogram? We just use the prefix gets the one. So this is the prefix, it gets a one. How many G is in one kilogram? So we look at kilo, it's 10 to the three. So this is 10 to the three. Now we just do the multiplication. Kilograms cancels out with kilograms, leaving you with grams. That's exactly what you want. Let's pull up Desmos. And that problem was uh, 0 0.0, 0 it's 0 0.015 times 10. And where's the carrot symbol? Right here, yep. Nope, but we want to the power three. So we want this to the power three, okay? And that becomes 15. So we would say this is equal to 15, all right? So there you go. That is how you convert grams into kilograms. This is the conversion rate. Conversion rate, all right? Sometimes, you have something larger or more complicated like this. How many micrometers are in 2.8 uh, decimeters? This was shown in the notes, right? So we could just analyze this. Watch on this. This right here is the conversion rate this is the conversion rate okay notice dm cancels out with dm the m cancels out with the m leaving you with the mu m which is the micrometer that's exactly what what you got so sometimes you might have to use two conversion rates to get to what you are going to do okay this is also a common one this is how to get um, um, miles from miles over hours into meters per second okay so here it says convert 60 miles per hour to meters per second and one of the conversion rate is one mile is 1609 meters so the first thing that they did here is they got miles to convert it to meters okay so this is the first conversion rate miles goes on the bottom so the miles on top and the miles on bottom here cancels out on top the meters is exactly what we have. So you're good here. The second one gets rid of the hours. So the hours was on bottom, so the hours has to go on top. Minutes are on bottom. Then we want seconds, so we have to do another conversion rate. So one minute and 60 seconds, okay? These two conversion rates takes hours into minutes, then minutes into seconds, okay? Then they just multiply it across. 60 miles per one hour is equal to 26.8 meters over seconds, all right? So there you go. That's how you convert.